Hi there, and welcome to the Owingu 4.1 environment rundown. In this video, I will guide you through our demo environment of our latest version, Owingu 4.1. You can request a trial account on our website to test everything that you will see in the next few minutes out for yourself. To use your trial account, visit demo.owingu.com. It speaks for itself that both the login screen and the actual environment are completely rebrandable, so that the end user, your employee, will think of the solution as the workspace of my company, rather than a Wingu. To log in, you simply fill in your credentials and you can sign in to the demo version of our platform. It is important to know that we have disabled multi-factor authentication in our demo environment to make it more accessible but we have a built-in, out-of-the-box multi-factor authentication that can be used with, for example, Google or Microsoft Authenticator. And furthermore, we support any industry standard form of multi-factor authentication, such as tokens, SMS passcode, etc. Oh, and by the way, we've greatly improved the speed of logging in in 4.1. After you log in, you'll see that Owingu's user interface is very straightforward. On the left hand side, you see a sidebar that is partially or even fully collapsible. It features three tabs, your workspace, your files, and your applications. New in Owingu 4.1 is that the workspace not only features your most used applications and your most recently opened files, but it also features the possibility to showcase your favorited applications and your bookmarked files, so you can optimize your productivity. Clicking your username in the bottom left corner allows you to check your connection quality, edit your account settings, such as interface language or keyboard layout, and you can enable or disable guided tours to help you get used to the environment for first time use, for example. Since a Wingu runs 100% in the browser, it can come in handy to do a browser check to see what feature your browser does or does not support, for early troubleshooting for example. Currently, my browser does not support, for example, touch, because I am recording this on a laptop, a device without a touch screen. Lastly, you can also choose to open your Wingu session in full screen which is especially useful when you're working on a device with a smaller screen. Clicking the Application tab brings up a list of all published applications you have been granted access to. You can view them in Grid or List View and divide them into categories. For the sake of demonstration, I will open one of the legacy applications that is installed on our platform, the famous AS400 by IBM. As you can see, it works seamless and without any delay, exactly like it would if it were installed on my machine. This geometrical shape is our polygon, which is the navigation tool within a Wingu. When clicked upon, you are introduced to several options. Firstly, you can enable or disable the keyboard shortcuts that you see in the top right corner. A lot of legacy programs still use function keys or combinations to perform a certain action, and this serves as a pre-configured one-click keyboard combo. Not very spectacular when you're working on a laptop or a desktop, since you can just use your keyboard, but pressing Ctrl plus F3 on a tablet is of course somewhat of a different story. Secondly, you can choose to share your session, but I'll tell you more about that later. And then thirdly, you can choose to close your session, which terminates your current application session. And lastly, you can choose to open the session in a new window. That's especially handy if you're working with multiple screens. You can run virtually an infinite amount of sessions next to each other. I'll also open up a newer piece of software while we're at it, the Microsoft Excel 2016. Now, as you can see, it also works without any delay and it feels just like I'm working in the Excel that is installed on my device.
Now let's share our session. And when doing so, a Wingu will generate a unique URL that you can configure and you get to decide, for example, who gets to control the session and do we protect it with a password or not. And then you can send the URL to your colleague or, for example, external contractor. He or she has to fill in his or her name and will then get a stream of what is happening in the original session. He or she can even request control of the session and make remote collaborations easier than ever. A much requested feature was copy pasting from local text or from other application sessions running in a Wingu into your current application session and that is perfectly possible. We've noticed that with other RDP solutions, printing is often a real struggle. But at Awingu, we have come up with the virtual printer that generates a PDF in a new local tab. In that way, you can print to any printer of which the drivers are installed on your device or that are in the network. And you are then, in fact, printing locally directly from your device. The great thing about the sidebar is that it functions like a taskbar of the operating system of your choice. You can seamlessly switch between application sessions just like you would by clicking on your taskbar to switch between programs. And to make sure you're not missing out on anything, you can allow a notification to pop up when an action happens within a tapped out session. For example, when you get an email in your email client. A new feature of Owingu is a possibility to reverse proxy and to make internal websites, such as your intranet, your CRM or your SharePoint, available from the cloud through Owingu. And since Owingu 4.1, you can even enable single sign-on for these reverse proxy web applications. Lastly, we also provide users the possibility to stream a full desktop via a published VDI application, if they really feel the need to do so. A Wingu has a built-in file explorer, which is linked to your file servers and cloud storage. You can easily find the files you need in two ways, either by favoriting them, which makes them appear in the secondary navigation bar and on your workspace, or by using the newly introduced in folder search, which is located in the action bar. The administrator has thorough control over which user or user group has access to what drive or folder and can decide on the permissions per action a user has per file. An important action is for example downloading. More and more, administrators are disabling this on every level to avoid any form of local data copies. Since a Wingu 4.1, you can choose to do any of those actions on any number of files within the same folder you want, by the way. Next to session sharing, we also provide file sharing. This will once again generate a unique URL that is configurable. Firstly, you can set an expiration date which will lead to a 404 when the URL is clicked after the set time. Secondly, you can choose whether the receiver gets to see the file in a PDF reader in the browser or if he or she can download the source file, a pptx file in this case. And thirdly, you can choose to make the file only accessible to people that can log into your environment or to anyone with access to the link. And this link, in its turn, can again be shared with whomever has to receive the file. Users can easily check which files they have shared and make the link invalid. They can also update the expiration time or update the link entirely, which will give the person who clicks the link the most recent version of the file they refer to. Of course, it's very important for the administrator to know exactly what is going on in their Owingu environment. Which is why we have installed an easy to use dashboard, which gives you an overview of all movement in your environment. Since Owingu 4.1, we provide these insights on a domain specific level. You can check who is currently online and what session they are running. And you can terminate or disconnect those sessions, or even save a video recording of what exactly is happening in those sessions. 
You can check app servers and published applications. You can get an overview of how often your applications are used and via what operating system or browser they are accessed. You get very granular auditing possibilities on the level of logging in, opening a session, opening a file, sharing a session, sharing a file, etc. And furthermore, a Wingu logs anomalies, such as someone logging in with a new browser or opening sessions in two countries at the same time. If you visit awingu.com slash try, you also have the possibility to download our getting started guide and deploy an environment with two concurrent users in your own backend to try out the functionalities in your specific environment with your specific applications. If you have any other questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us.